so we're getting ready to go on our next oh, adventure. I thought we were taking a picture. <laughs> And we finally got all packed up and the trailer is <laughs> loaded down. And it's very, very cold. It's a little chilly, I must <laughs> say. It's October 19th, 20th. I don't know the date. Anyway. It's really cold. <laughs> it is really cold. So, Jeep's pretty sagging. We're about to head off. Got one last item to take care of, which is water. Can't live without that. And we're about ready to head to Cape Lookout, North Carolina. Freezer took us off at the beach. You ready? Yep. <laughs> Where are we going? Uh, Cape Lookout, North Carolina. <laughs> So day one was an early start. We had to get packed pretty much the day before to shove off first thing in the morning. We had a long day on the road. By the time we got to camp, it was dark. We set up camp and enjoyed the stars before the evening was over. So we had a long day yesterday. I think Leanne got a little blip of us leaving the house, but we drove all the way to, uh, I can't remember the little town we are, but we're at Oyster Point Campground. Uh, and we're staging to catch a ferry to Cape Lookout. So we're super excited about that. Hopefully the wind and rain holds off and I have a feeling we'll be, uh, we'll have a pleasant couple days, but it is now Friday. We left on Thursday, drove all night, well, all day, and got in. That was probably a little after 9 p.m., set up camp, had a little fire to relax. And then this morning, we've been busy kind of settling in. Leanne had a little bit of work to do. We had a fire and uh, got this great view back here, too. We got the water is just right over there. Uh, spent some time this morning with the chainsaw there's actually they've been downing a bunch of trees so I got us stacked up here for at least for tonight and then plus we got the stuff we brought with us so we'll have lots of great fires over the next couple days we got the DOGs with us today this weekend there's Benny and Lucy's around here sorry Luce there she is that's a girl all right and Connor, Trevor, <laughs> I think Mama's getting ready. We're gonna go check out Fort Macon today down on the north part of Emerald Isle and go tool around. Might try and find a little seafood joint while we're on the coast, get some hush puppies. And so we're excited for a couple days hanging out as fam.
We found some lunch at a local spot in Moorhead called the Ruddy Duck. It was right on the water and they had hush puppies. After lunch, we headed to Fort Macon, which was constructed between 1826 and 1834. If you enjoy history lessons, you should visit the park, which is North Carolina's most visited park with around 1.3 million visitors a year. Yeah, it is. We enjoyed some tortellini over the fire in the Dutch oven after our outing to Macon. After some rest, we woke to a beautiful calm day. With some coffee in hand, we enjoyed the waterside views before eating a quick breakfast and breaking down camp. I oh. haven't crave poo. Actually, chocolate. Super excited. We got the Jeep on the ferry. We're going to get out and air down our tires. Um, so, yeah, totally new for us. This is going to be cool.
After getting off the ferry, we were checked in by one of the rangers stationed here. Very nice and helpful with some pointers about navigating the island. After getting our window sticker, we headed south to try and find a good spot for our three night stay. We found our spot. Time to stretch our legs and get our toes in the sand. No, it didn't take Connor long before he decided to let the surf catch up to him. Okay, so we made it to Cape Lookout. We had uh, two nights at a campsite, um, Oyster Point, which was about 40 minute drive from the ferry service. We took Davis Shore Ferry Service. Super cool, uh, very patient, working with the schedule with us to get out here. And so we did, and we made our way down the beach probably about five miles down the beach and found a spot it's probably the windiest spot on the beach i don't know i have no idea what we're doing but we found a spot and there's nobody in that direction you can see the lighthouse over here and there's nobody in that direction and that's why we came so um we got the fam mom's hanging out Trevor is on his devices, of course. He has been off of them a little bit. You just don't know that because you only see him on his devices. And then we got little man over here. We got the hammock set up. Awesome. Gymnastics style going on. Got the Jeep posted up. Puppies are happy with their treats. Is Lucy. Oh, no, no. Nom, 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 nom. All right, Ben. That's what happens when you get salt in your food. So, yeah, we're posted up a little. It's probably going to get windy. So, here's camp.
What's for breakfast? Home fries and bacon and eggs. Mmm. We're all ready. Some garlic and onion in there. In 1907, the United States Lighthouse Service built this house, but not here. They built it near the lighthouse to serve as living quarters for light keepers. There it served more than 40 years, but new lighthouse technology that required fewer keepers rendered the building obsolete. Declared surplus by the United States Coast Guard, it was moved here in 1960 for the use of private residents. Always practical islanders commonly reused barrier island structures, moving them to new locations when their original use ended. At Cape Lookout, old structures seemingly never died. They just moved away. After exploring the south end of the island and some photo ops at the historic lighthouse, we decided to head all the way to the north end. We found a bunch of cool shells and even got a glimpse of the old vehicles they buried years ago to fight erosion on the dunes.
we just found a really cool conch shell and yeah. daddy's washing it off so we'll see show you what it looks like here in just a second After exploring all day when we got back to camp we got the mini crawler out to play around with and decided it was time for a nice warm bowl of clam chowder So we are uh, filling plastic bags full of sand so we are sure to not lose the awning that we're putting up because the storm is coming in and we're going to get rained on. Okay, walk through video number two. See if this comes out a little bit better. We had some exposure issues and I don't know, kind of stumbled through the last one. May or may not be better, so we'll see what we use. Um, before we get to that, awesome fire on the beach. Um, totally hanging out. Cave lookout. Sunset. Sun's going down. And, uh, <laughs> clean the lens. So, anyways, turtle bike trailer, 2022 expedition. Uh, haven't really done a full walkthrough on this. This is totally casual here. So number one reason why I bought this trailer is this kitchen right here. Um, there's lots of other great trailers on the market, but I kept gravitating to Turtleback. Um, I like this kitchen layout. The L-shaped kitchens are nice too. Don't get me wrong, um, but I got tons of storage. What I got here is fold down table on this side. Two burner cook partner stove. I got my Dometic uh, water. I got my guzzle system, which is a filter system too. Um, of course, it's got a 42 gallon tank uh, with six gallons and the water heater circulated to 48 maximum gallons. The water is a lot, um, plenty for us. Um, big pantry. My wife and I were talking when we were packing. I said, I don't know how we're going to put all this in here, but it just kept going and then we had room to spare so depending on your, how you pack you know but we got our vitamins and minerals and stuff that we use for coffee and our green drinks um cereal chips salsa uh plates and bowls everything that we need down here we got our utensils knives gloves for the dutch oven um miscellaneous things cooking there's a little drawer under the sink this, this table stays exposed to the elements, but it's just another big, nice work, work surface. Got 120 volts here, USB, uh, cigarette lighter plug-in. Um, we got the uh, rooftop table compartment up here. We put our table, our chairs. Uh, now we got beach umbrellas with us. Pole storage, so we have extra poles for the awning. Uh, right now I have like a kite in there and uh, I keep the tripod to cook over the fire with the um, Dutch oven. Coming around. So the swing swing out tire carrier, we got our rotor packs, extra fuel, uh, eight gallons of fuel, run into a situation we can get hopefully back to where we need. We got the 270 Pellegrine, um, Peregrine 230 awning right now um 
look forward to getting the walls for that. It's going to be nice. Um, this is our water heater on this side. Over here, this is where I keep my pots and pans, um, miscellaneous uh, carbonated beverages, and uh, our coffee stuff, extra paper towels, and whatnot. Um, coming around here, we did the um, <clears throat> the Snowmaster 72 quart fridge freezer combo. Slides out nicely. Um, it's great. It's got your you know temperature settings. You can see the voltage and everything. Make sure everything's great. Um, and tons of room there. You know, so we keep our deli meats, our eggs, um, certain things there. And I actually was able to keep. Um, our fillets and salmon and certain things frozen on this side until this morning i thought you know well now we don't need it frozen so i just adjust the temperature let it get a little bit cooler and then it's going to be ready to eat um of course you can put whatever you want in there set the temp to whatever you desire i'm trying to keep all these ones because we do have some wind we're on the beach so I'm trying to get the sand out as much as possible up front we do have the shower enclosure, uh, which is great. But, uh, open line systems. Uh, we have our uh, little shower thing, rinse feet off, whatever you need. In the nose box, um, this has got the inverter and everything. We got a hammock, uh, dog food. Um, I keep uh, our Dewalt here for changing tires or uh, doing the trailer steadies in the back to keep this thing steady. Um, but this is utilitarian. Uh, we keep extra cardboard and stuff for killing for fire when we could have it. Um, you got this awesome articulating hitch. It's worked out really well on the few trails that we've had it on so far. We do have the vestibule for the 23087 walkabout deployed right now. Um, awesome, great for dogs, extra room, privacy, all that stuff. And I will tell you this, last night we had some really, really gnarly winds and the 23-0, you know, slapped around a little bit, but it just did great. Um, completely thrilled with it. But if we come around here, we'll walk into the inside. We'll see if we get enough light to get a good exposure. So coming into the tent and I have this hunker down. I'm sorry, it's dark. But the reason, the reason it's so dark is because we don't want sand blowing in from the north northwest so um this is the control system so we have the red arc uh manager 30 um so we can see all of our display our charging capability or capacity excuse me um you can see you know if we're in touring mode whatever so it's great way to manage that i can see right now i'm not charging i'm fine my battery's been peaked out um, we have our control panels for our exterior lighting, uh, interior lighting, turtle lights. Um, we also have the KC uh, rock light system on this, which is Bluetooth, so we can get on the phone and make it do all kinds of fancy things and cool colors. And it does come in handy, and it's nice at, at night to have that capability. Um, here, you know, you got you got to have the mini crawlers. Um, we got our fire extinguisher. This is where we kind of keep flashlights, batteries, USB stuff. Um, it's not highly organized, but you know, when you're camping, I got a family of four, two dogs, we, you know, kind of jam pack as much as we can. And it's a uh, organized chaos. DeWalt vacuum. That's a, that's a must have right there. That's highly recommended games. And so certain things that we're going to want to access when we're inside the best of your, um, you know, it's got this, which is meant to strap down the ladders when they're on top, but this is a great little drying line or dryer line. The tent is extremely dark right now. I'm not even gonna bother, but the tent is great. Excuse me, oh my gosh. It's got a, a big, huge bed up top. Um, all four of us sleep up there and I'm 6'1". I can literally stretch my arms and legs and pull them tip to tip and be comfortable, so. Anyways, that's our trailer, so.
Do it again. Send it the other way. Again. <laughs> the storm, for the most part, did steer clear from us, so we got to enjoy our fillets outside by the fire. On a side note, doesn't this trailer look like a lunar lander in these photos? Good morning. Day three of our trip to Cape Lookout National Seashore. And uh, we've had a good time. We got here on- got our new mugs. Got some mugs. Uh, let's see, what did we do? We got on the island on Saturday. We ferried over around noon. Meandered the beach a little bit. Found a cool spot right around the center of the beach, or of the island. Uh, we could see the lighthouse from where we are, which is really cool. And uh, really close to the high tide. And we were kind of <laughs> nervous the first night, but turns out it does actually stop about 20 feet from our, <laughs> our truck. Um, but this morning we're just hanging out. Um, Saturday night, the winds were whipping around it was a not a very restful night um, high winds but the tent and everything held up good and then last night actually was just great the seas have calmed calmed down and the winds calmed down we had a great campfire and uh, so this morning we're just hanging out lee it's monday so lee's working of course and i'm trying not to you have to do something. I know. I got to work today, actually. A little bit. But uh, today, the weather's supposed to get warmer. And we, you know, probably 70, low 70s. And I'm not planning on going anywhere. So yesterday, we went down to the lighthouse. It was really cool. Uh, we went up to visit the ranger station. We drove from end to end on the island. Uh, did some shelling. Uh, found some cool shells. Today, I'm looking forward to just hanging out at camp, maybe playing some frisbee, flying some kites, and just doing beach stuff and just relaxing. Uh, tonight, we're gonna try and get staged and get uh, camp kind of ready. We gotta wake up early tomorrow morning, shove off, catch the ferry uh, early in the morning. So, heading back to the mainland. So, I don't know if I mentioned this, but. We aren't close to anything. I think we saw one truck pass by yesterday afternoon. Flying by in like a Ford Raptor. It's actually a really cool truck. It sounded really good. So that's the way I like it. It's all fun and games until someone gets a pump knot. out of 
six tires aired up. I got a jackknife trailer to get to the other side. The line's not long enough, but all in all, I think we had a really good time. Um, awesome day yesterday. We just totally hung out on the beach, didn't move the truck at all, and just kind of nestled in and enjoyed the, uh, enjoyed the sand. It was cool, overcast for three days, but uh, you know, that's okay. Kind of reminded me a lot of uh, back home out west. Appreciate it.